biggest attraction back there is our water park. Mm -hmm. We built the water park about four and a half years ago, and it's become the, the really main attraction for the hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a when you come and stay at this resort, as well as getting you know a beautiful golf course, fabulous restaurants, uh, a beautiful beach, a pool, water sports. <laughs> Uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> tennis courts, you know, bars and nightclubs. Mm -hmm. You get this water park that's, you know, part of the, the whole deal. No extra charge. You have this, you know, private water park at your disposal all the time you're here. So whether you're two years of age or 62 years of age or anywhere in between, people just have a fabulous time here at the water park. And of course, that's coupled with their 780 fabulous Jamaican employees that make wow. your stay just wonderful. It's, it's, it's you know, our reputation has gone far and wide and the number of repeat customers that we get mm -hmm. is just huge. Yeah. Now, I hear you have an employee named Jimmy Wright and uh, Jimmy is also a great golfer and he has challenged me as well as Marina. Well, I hear he's pretty good. Jimmy tells everybody his handicap is about 12, but I know that it's about three or four. Oh yeah, he's sandbagging. He sandbags, <laughs> See, he sandbags yeah. a little bit. So you're going to have your hands full out there, you know, playing Jimmy tomorrow. All right. But you're going to really enjoy the golf course. Mm -hmm. You know, there's five holes down on the water, mm -hmm. and then the back nine goes back up in, into the mountains around uh, Johnny Cash's house. So it's just beautiful settings. You go up to about 600 feet and you look down over the resort and out over into the Caribbean Sea. It's just an absolutely wow. gorgeous setting. I know you're going to enjoy that. All Great right. to have you and again, enjoy the golf tomorrow. All right. Marvin, cheers. Good to see you cheers. again. What can a couple expect um, from a wedding at the Wyndham? Uh, they can expect a perfect wedding day. Um, we actually start from the initial planning of the wedding, whether by the internet or telephone. When they actually get here, everything is already pre-planned, so we basically sit down with them for a few minutes to finalize all the arrangements, take them around, show them the locations, do a little rehearsal. And on the wedding day um, itself, um, with our staff, everything goes very well. We coordinate uh, four to six weddings a day. Wow. And um, for a month, we'll do anything between 45 to 50 weddings for okay. the month. So they rest assured they're in good hands. They are in good hands. Excellent. So if I'm a brand new bride, of course, it's my first time. Um, what kind of packages do you have? Because maybe I don't know all the questions to ask. I don't know what details need to go into the ceremony. Well, we have a basic package, which basically covers the minister, which includes the license and ceremony, and of course, the location. We also have a cake, which is a plain sponge cake with strawberry fillings. A lot of our guests prefer to have a plain cake. Mm -hmm. We have a bottle of house champagne, and of course we have a bridal bouquet and a groom boutonnieres, which consists of um, our many Jamaican tropical flowers. Oh, I'm sure that's and um, of course our wedding manager is always assigned to, to a couple. We also have the deluxe package, which includes all those basic inclusions, plus it also has a package of 36 photographs, which they get back in our Wyndham logo album, with the negatives and they get a VIP suite upgrade with that as well. And our wedding gazebo is actually in our sugar mill falls so that's very nice oh, yeah. because you can actually hear the waterfalls in the background Beautiful. and it's in a nice tropical garden and on the beach we have the backdrop of the ocean and the golf course as well wow. and of course the ruins are nearby so we, we can take them here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know you've got four probably four more weddings to go today yes. so thank you Maureen for taking the time. Appreciate You're welcome. It was thank my you. pleasure. Thank you. Ah, the smell of Jamaican air and the aroma of jerk chicken. I've heard of this place called Scotchy's. Let's go check it out. From where you go in Jamaica, you'll find jerk chicken of different, different tastes. If you go to Portland, you'll find a different type of jerk chicken. And if you come here in Montego Bay, you find a different type of jerk chicken. So it's really all about the spices used to preserve the meat, um, the flavor. And I think also has to do with um, how long they preserve it and how long they actually allow it to soak before actually preparing it. And you can actually taste the seasoning in the meat. And that's really why I always love my jerks. Um, whether it be fish, pork, chicken, mutton, I just love my jerk. 
Well, I'm here at Scotchy's, one of the locals' favorites for jerk chicken, and Max is going to take us through how it's all made, what goes on in this hot, smoky pit. I'm sure it's a lot of good food, though. Yes, very good food. Very good. Yeah, um, to, without the, the, the sauce, I don't think it would be jerk. You okay. understand? Because the sauce, you have to actually use a, a portion of the sauce to um, do the seasoning. Okay. You understand? And after it's cooked, you use the sauce again to okay. enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. I see it's laid across some wood here. Yes, we actually um, uh, we have some sweet wood. The wood give it a special flavor. You understand? So you, you get a better eating chicken. We actually start working from about 6.37 in the morning. Wow. Yeah, to get all that chicken and pork prepared and so forth. Very good, very good. Well, all this talk of food makes me a little hungry. We've got to try some of the scotchies yeah, uh, jerk chicken. We, we hear it's the best in the, in the area. So thank yeah. you very much, Max, for taking us through the process. You're welcome. We're going to continue to look around and maybe okay. get a taste. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Mmm, delicious jerk chicken right here at Scotchies. And if you're in Montego Bay, Jamaica, you have to stop by Scotchies. And don't worry about the address. All the locals know where it is. Just ask any taxi driver. Delicious. You know, and it's excellent, but it's not Jamaica's national dish. That would be ackee and saltfish. And we'll try some of that in a moment. Aha, uh -huh. the ackee. This is what you're looking for, right? That's right, that's right. Well, like this, part of our national dish. But like this, it's not to be eaten. Mm. When it's on the tree like this, you have to wait for the pod to open. Okay. The fruit on the inside is called the ackee, and it's part of our national dish. And it's yellow in color, and we'll be able to see a picture of it maybe later when you get a chance okay. to eat a sample. It. And it is from originally from Africa. It was brought over during the early 17th century as part of the food supplement for the people working on the plantations in general and you find that it has a very buttery taste with there's something in it that mm -hmm. can't be described but once it's seasoned the way we season our food in jamaica it really brings out the beautiful flavor and how would i serve it up what would you would I eat serve it with? it with codfish okay or if you have uh fried dumplings okay nice Sounds good old good. fried dumplings and we have another another little thing that we use in jamaica it's called cassava and we grate it it's like a ground provision Mm -hmm. And we grate it and we make it into a flour and then use a flour to make uh, a cake mm -hmm. that's nice and flat. And then we cut it up into triangles, specifically not okay. squares or rectangles, okay. triangles. And we use it and it's called bami. Okay. And it was all the way back from when the Indians who used to be here originally, they used to use that as part of their staple diet. So we're still using, what, 600 year old food 600 Today. years later. It's fabulous food. So. If it's a good thing, we're going to keep it. All right. It looks like I need to have some of that for breakfast. I'm getting hungry. Yes. Breakfast is <laughs> okay. almost served. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Tian Smith, one of the chefs at the Wyndham Resort. And after all that talk about the ackee, we're actually going to eat some. Yes, Maria. We'll be cooking up some ackee and salt fish today, which is Jamaica's national dish. Cook it up so we get a nice scent going there. After we have done sauteing all of this, yes, Beautiful. it starts looking nice. Beautiful. But what we want to do is not put in the ackee too early. Because if you do it all mushy, you look like scrambled eggs. So you want it to be nice and firm. So you cook all of this up first. So what I'm going to do, if you notice, I'm, I'm kind of making a little separation here. Then I want to pour my ackee in there like that. Because what I want to do is avoid stirring it so the ackee doesn't get or mushy. So what I do is like, I'm here by doing a mixing process. So what I do is just Wow. Yeah, man. Still looks good. Right, looks good. And I believe our dish is ready to go. Ready to go? Well, yes, that's ready to go. less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. It's easy. <laughs> that sounds like a And good over meal. here, we already have some fried dumplings. These are fried dumplings, which we have prepared ahead of time. This is just like a flour dough with baking powder and some butter and a little bit of milk which is already fried so we're gonna serve this up with our freshly cooked ackee and saltfish over here 
So I just make a little dish for my little friend Mariah here. <laughs> All right, Mariah. Mariah. These are your dumplings. Here we go, Marina. Freshly cooked, ackee and saltfish, Jamaican style. Thank you so I hope much. You enjoy it. I'm sure yeah. I will. Let's Have get a, a little ackee and saltfish yeah, in the bite. Me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is delicious. That is very it's good. Sumptuous. All right, let me just hold a plate so you could bite into your dumplings and okay. have a taste. Okay. The best. That's good. And it's the national dish. Sure indeed. It is the national dish of Jamaica. Cooked in Jamaican style right here at the Wyndham Rose Hall. Thank you so much, Chef Sion Smith. Thank you too, Marina. Appreciate cooking with you this morning. It's absolutely a pleasure hosting you. Thank All right? you. Thank You're welcome. You. you have a nice day now. Thanks. All right, thank you. Stick around. More from Montego Bay, Jamaica coming up. When you're in Jamaica, it's easy to notice the colorful designs that the locals have. Now let's take a look at some of the unique collections you can find. You have to be sporting the right gear if you want to go sailing at the Wyndham Rose Hall with this crew. Notice how the colorful and sensual looks of our swimwear plays off the frosty colors of those tropical drinks, leaving no doubt that you're in the island's mind. And check out Roger and the girls, as they can't help but look good dancing to the island rhythms at poolside. Yeah, man. Now it was time for an exciting evening. Dana Gay in her shrimp-colored floral applique slip dress with spaghetti straps and a tantalizing thigh-high slit. Carolyn finished third in the recent Miss Jamaica Universe pageant. She is stunning in this beaded champagne and white halter cocktail dress worn with slacks. Marina, our top 10 Miss USA contestant, is gleaming in the twilight and working her charm in this silk strapless bustier with fringe layered silk bell skirt and ready for a romantic tropical evening. And of course, the guys are looking real cool in their lightweight shirts and slacks. When it's time for dinner, try some Italian at the Wyndham. It's the perfect place to wet your palate. And finally, to round out the perfect evening, the gang takes in the casino at the Wyndham. Well, how did I do? Did I blend in well with those beautiful Jamaican models? I have to say, a girl can never resist dressing up. Stay tuned, Destinations will be back after this. Towel boys. <laughs> the towels. <laughs>